We ready? Yes. Hi, I'm Stanley Georgieva and I am a PhD student or a brain scientist in the making. Hello, I'm Andres Canales Johnson and I'm a brain scientist. So we've always been fascinated by world-class musicians and their ability to perform with flawless technical precision, but also to improvise in the heat of the moment, creating beautiful music all along. So we decided to set up an experiment with Pedro Stach, a renowned flutist from the world of Hans Zimmer, in order to answer this one very simple question of what happens in the brain differently when these creative modern day geniuses like Pedro are playing from memory versus when they're improvising. So we choose Pedro Eustache because he has a very strong intuition about his experience as a musician. He has felt during his entire career that there are two completely different musical processes going on in his mind. One happening during the experience of playing something by heart and another one totally different when he's improvising music. So we met with Pedro in November 2019 on the only night actually that he had off in a matter of weeks touring with the world of Hans Zimmer. And he invited us to his hotel room and generously basically shared his entire evening with us, performing for the experiment and telling us stories from his life and basically from his lifelong relationship with music. And the experience was just beyond words. So we set up an experiment in his room. Um, it's an EEG experiment. EEG is a device that allows us to measure brain waves, and it's composed of many different sensors that sit on the head. And each sensor can actually capture the simultaneous activity of millions of neurons at the precision of like one millisecond. Basically, that's 1,000 times every second. So in the experiment, we tested Pedro during three different states of mind. The first one was resting, which is the baseline, where he literally just relaxed. The second one was playing music that he knows by heart, like those in his famous music soundtracks. And the third one was improvising music, where he created from scratch a solo out of three randomly selected notes. The idea was to compare the different brain patterns that are specifically associated with these two main states, playing music from memory and improvising. And we can only hope for the future that we can get more musicians like Pedro at his level to take part in this experiment and help us answer this question. I realized through the years that maybe there's a little bit of Asperger in me. You can see the obsessiveness and yeah. these things. It's like I cannot take no for an answer. I went to my dentist and I had it open. This yeah. is something I spent 10 years of my life developing. Right. One thing is the experience acoustically here yeah. with, my, with my actual ears. A completely different thing is to be on a stage, on a microphone, in no time to warm up. Pick up, they put this huge close up and light. And go. Play. Yeah. 12,000 people listening to you. <laughs> Once you gave me the three notes, I can at will put myself in a state of mind, state of soul. That, okay, Lord, do your thing. What, ah, then I can hear. And I think every improviser does that. Yeah. God has allowed me the blessing and has put in my heart the way to develop a sensitivity to do that. I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm a Jesus freak. I literally feel that the Holy Spirit takes me and guides me. That's what I feel. I learned, I opened up to something that I believe potentially was there, mm -hmm. but I had not access to that before. And that came when analyzing Mozart. Once you know the foundations of music, what music is made of. Yeah. It's like cooking, you know how to cook. You know how to cook. Exactly, because I've worked so hard yeah, on my cooking awesome. skills, <laughs> not just playing. Yeah, way deeper than that yeah. is to know the mechanics that yeah. make music happen there's inhaling there's exhaling there's the heart if you flatline you're dead anything that for me is alive has to go and come back and that's an absolutely most fundamental law upon which the musical phenomenology dynamic is based upon here we go where are you going?
this very very masterful experience that you've built up so that it that allows you to step out of the way so to speak because you're like automated all of this so you don't have to be actively there you can step out of the way what is the, the role of the rest of us the role of music defined by the greatest musician of all history of humanity without any doubt Johann Sebastian Bach he said that music exists to glorify God and to sublimate the human soul. That for me is the cross. It's a vertical reality and there's a horizontal reality of people witnessing my going vertical. It blessed me to feel your reaction to what was happening. And if you do not respond like that, that might influence me. Mm -hmm. Not in a good way. Because that would make me doubt, of course. I can experience this and I do all by myself and it's a wonderful thing and I just go vertical and then the resonance is with myself. I guess you're making decisions while you're improvising. Yep. Yep. It's not like the kind of decision that you make when you play a piece that you know by heart. Absolutely not. Yeah, and what's the qualitative difference between the two? That one is a path that is established yeah. and I need to recreate the perfection of my finger position and my breathing and my coordinated, articulated thing from my tongue to get this result. I already know what's gonna happen. I just have to recreate that if I put the ingredients back in order. When I do something new, I don't know what I'm gonna do. When I picked up the duduk before and that face came, I was like, whoa. Yeah. You open your, your soul and your mind and your heart to be able to hear, mm -hmm. and that is what is from a completely different place than when you play something that is established. Yeah. I wish someday we can do a thing in which you can literally map 3D the brain and you can see the colors and things, procedures uh, going, going, coming, yeah. because well, I will guarantee you that we will see that when I do something creative, it's completely oh, different yeah. process. Yeah completely different than when I'm very specific playing something. Yeah. We can actually do that with this. I'm sure we're gonna prove what I feel because I remember when I couldn't do that and I felt one part of my thinking was adormecido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleepy. Was sleepy. Yeah. Is a place of trust, a place of experience, a place of you have worked so much is more than knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an ingrained thing that is I can trust yeah. myself out of the way. It, that takes a lot of faith yeah. because we're control freaks. This demands exactly the opposite. To let go. Correct. Yeah. 